Well, I think that it's scripted. It's this it's, curriculum itself is scripted. Is scripted. So that's the that's one thing, and probably the biggest the the other thing is that it really it, it we we teach all of the children at the same time. That's a huge time savings for the mother. It's a huge um, boost to all of the children to be together and not separate. Um, it's it's uh, the commonality of the of the curriculum across the board with all the children where you can um, you know have have these experiences that are all the same um, now I do have to say that when we were homeschooling people would come to us sometimes and they'd say oh we're homeschooling too and I'd say oh really and they'd say yeah we can get done in two hours what it takes the school six hours to do so we just do it two hours a day we put little Johnny at the computer for two hours and then he's done and isn't that awesome and we just we didn't think it was awesome at all because we were having this great experience with our kids. So if that's what people want, if that's the kind of homeschooling curriculum people want, this kind of thing where you just, you know, somebody sends you every, absolutely everything you need in the mail in a box and you sit your kids down at a computer for a, and you buy them all a computer or some kind of tablet device and, and that's it and, and you, go to, uh, you go to the mall or something. <laughs> That is not what this is. That is not what this is. This is um, homeschooling the family school way is a labor of love. It is a labor of love, and it takes time. Um, it, it, we have way more, uh, you know, so many more uh, technological things to help us now that we didn't have back then, you know, which is wonderful. So many more things online to help us with this whole process, and we're trying to pull those out, and we hope that moms find more things. You know, we hope that people who are more advanced technologically than the people writing these curriculums, that they get on their computer and, and uh, kind of see where this is going and, and add to it. It doesn't have to be exactly what we have on the page. It really is, uh, it can be flexible, really. Uh, one of the things that I was thinking is that um, we're so, we are so used to the public form of school where it's all grade to grade to grade. People say, you know, that must be the only, sure, that must be the only way to learn because that's how our society does it. But within the church, um, when we have family home evening, we don't say, okay, I'm going to go give the family home evening lesson to the first grader first. Okay, now I'll give a different one to the second grader and a different one to the third grader. We're taught to do family home evening as a group and learn the gospel together. And at the end of the lesson, the family home evening manual. They have things that you can do with the little kids and things that you can do and talk about with the older kids or whatever. And that was kind of one of the things that we had talked about that that it really does work and it's worked for a long time. Our many of our founding fathers, you know, weren't sitting in a classroom with thirty two other kids and and um so I, I think that's an important thing.